Well, hello everybody, it's Leanne Greff, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and it is time for Facebook Live. We are doing the stamp with me tonight. I shared um, these two cards on my business page on, face, on um, my Flower Bugs Ink Spot, and that is, then I give you the directions or the measurements so you can prepare if you want to stamp along with me. So let's see, get my laptop all synced up. Well, hello everybody, we've got quite a few on already. Thank you for saying hello. Let me know if you're here and watching live and even if you're watching later after I upload it to YouTube and my page, um, say hello. Let me see that you're here. Let me straighten my screen out just a little bit. Okay, anybody stamping and creating along with me tonight? Anybody? Let me just pull this forward a little bit more. I'm trying to keep us straight. Oh boy, that got crooked, didn't it? Did I straighten it up? Pretty good. Okay, all right. So these are the two cards that I that I made ahead of time to show you to get your, your products ready. And um, the designer paper pieces are, let me just grab one here. I'm going to do one in wood and it is two and a quarter long by one and a half wide. Okay, so you can see these two were the same and these two, these two, and these two. And I did the same thing on these. I'm going to switch it up just a little bit on the next cards. You're making, oh, you're cutting for a class. Oh, it kind of counts. It kind of counts. Hopefully he'll make one of these later. All right, um, yep, a lot of people like to watch and then create later, Barb, yes. And Carol, thank you for the card. Carol Koraleski, I loved getting the happy mail from you yesterday, or Saturday, I think it was. So thank you so much. That was awesome to get, to get cards. You know, we are in, this craft is um, such a caring, kind uh, thing. You know, we think it's simple. It's just paper, it's stamps, it's you know, ink, but we can brighten people's day by just sending a card. So that was wonderful, thank you. Okay, so um, here I used Bright's designer paper and these are our six by six inch papers. And these are actually on sale right now because they're this pat these patterns are retiring. So this is what's left of my Bright's. And these are marked down from 11, 9, $11.50 to six ninety dollars right now. And they were, they're were available in all of our colors. This is the in colors that are retiring right now. So great deals on 6x6 six six paper on the last chance list. Hello, everybody. Thank you for popping in and watching. So that's the Brights paper. This is the... Uh, <laughs> Let's see, the Artful Abstract Beauty paper. You can kind of see a few of the pieces that I use. That one, this one, this one, and that one. So this is a specialty paper in the uh, January through June catalog, and it's four inches by six inches. So is anybody else finding that I'm frozen? Anybody? I see Diane said I'm frozen up. Um, any, anybody else having issue with me? And how about the sound? I had somebody say that my video was not loud enough. I honestly have my sound up all the way. Um, so hopefully that's not an issue with everybody. I don't know what else I can do um, about that. Um, but anyway, um, good on your end, Katie. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Doris. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, by the way, this, oh, I should have my ruler here, but I'm pretty sure I said that the, the piece that this is adhered to, like in this case, it's white, is three and five eighths by four. Oh gosh, what did I say? Anybody remind me? Was it five? Yes, it's five inches, I believe. So three and five eighths by five. I don't have any ruler near me. That's not very good. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to create today. Well, at least something similar to it. By the way, um, before I get moving on, I do want to mention that the flowers on these cards are from the Pierced Bloom dies. So they, oh, thanks, Linda. Thanks, Debbie. I appreciate Jean telling me that my sound is good. Oh, I can see the sun is coming in. It's, it's setting here. <laughs> my windows are... 
um, open on the, the end of my studio. So anyway, the Pierce Bloom dies were, I believe, 36 or 37, and now they're 18, they're half off. So I love these dies. They're on the um, last chance list. So if you don't have them and you like flowers, and you like stitches, and this, this cute little um, greeting label is in there too. So this is, a, this is a great set of dies if you don't have them. Okay, all right, so to get started, I'm gonna show you this one. I'm gonna make one similar to this. This is using another retiring item. I'm using things up in good taste. It's 12 by 12, and I show half of it here and the other half here. This is a big pack of paper that's in the, um, the annual catalog that's retiring. So this is going away. It's actually been around for two years. It was lucky, we were lucky to have it carry over last year. Okay, so what you wanna do, I already have some of this prepared. Now I'm gonna start setting this up. So what you wanna do is cut your papers in half and then let's see if I can figure out where these all go. Is that? That looks really wrong. Okay, that would be there. Okay, <laughs> the reason you wanna do this is because when you cut your pieces on the angle, they, um, they don't always fit in the way that you want them. For some reason, something is wrong here. I had this all working, but now I'm short a piece for some reason. I should have one more of those. Uh-oh, <laughs> and I don't have any more near me. I might have to look. Well, how weird is that? They were all there. Hold on just a mm -hmm. second. actually threw away the rest of my designer paper too. So this is gonna be interesting how I'm gonna make this work. Okay, that one would go like that. You see, I'm, calling, I'm kind of following the pattern. So I'm just gonna be short a piece. But you get the gist. So then this one would go there. This one would go here and I'm missing one of those. So when creating, so strange. It was all right here. Just a little while. Oh, I found it. It was upside down, so it looked like it was white. See, it was on my table. All right, so once you have them in place, now before, these aren't quite the same paper, so I'm gonna pretend I don't have those, and we'll cut this piece. So remember, two and a quarter I'm sorry, two, one and a half, one and a half by two and a quarter. So when you put your paper on here, I can see that I need to cut from here to here because in some cases, depending on which piece you need left, so starting like with those, so cut these in half, put them on your board, and then I, basically I just look and realize I have to cut from here to here. Okay, does that make sense? You just kind of have to start with half of your pieces. Yes, Jean, are, is everybody in North Dakota ready? Well, not even North Dakota. I think Montana's getting hit. Um, I'm not sure about South Dakota or Minnesota, but yeah, we are expecting a huge storm up to 24, and they say in some cases 36 inches of snow in the next two days. It's crazy. Um, we, April storms traditionally can be some of the worst. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think Grand Forks is gonna get it too badly, Julie. That's what I heard anyway, I don't know. Um, but Minot, Bismarck, um, I'm not sure about Williston. So what I'm doing here is looking at my parameters and I know just by looking at that one that it's about an eighth of an inch and I just start going around the um, cardstock and looking from here to there and making sure that it's even. And the nice thing about this is if you put your greeting, you know, it is crazy, you're right, it's very crazy. If you put your greeting in the center, you don't care 
if your center is not perfect. So that's the, the great part about this card is you don't have to be real perfect in the center. Your edges and in between pieces are what's gonna matter. But I like to leave these on just so I know my pattern and I don't mess up. So after I put these on here, on this card, I don't know if you can see the texture. I did texture with the Tasteful, let's see, Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. Yes, I agree, Darlene. I think this is a wonderful masculine card, especially with the wood. Uh, that's kind of why I did it. I, f I find I, I like flowers and leaves and, oh, pretty colors and then manly cards are kind of left out of the mix. So it is nice to have something easy that is a masculine card. So you can see how this ends up working out and I'm just gonna slide and that's why I like this glue as I'm using it because it does let you just slide your pieces in place. So there you go, that is the basics of the card. Now I'm going to get some ink and I'm using Early Espresso and my card base is Sahara Sand. So that's the card base and I'm using Greetings. I have a few different stamp set, but this one, <laughs> yeah, you're right. We did ask for moisture. We didn't really want it in snow, but yeah. So I'm using this greeting from the Let's Set Sail stamp set. So the other cards that I created, I used the Slim Sayings, and this, you really are fabulous. I really like this. This is not carrying over um, the Slim Sayings set. Nice big greetings, and finally a nice graduation um, greeting as well. Okay, so we're going to stamp on this die cut. I stamp a little higher than I did before. And this die cut is from the Tasteful Labels dies, which I, I'm going to use the heck out of until it retires. It's on the list, going while supplies last. It's my absolute favorite for greeting dies. Okay, so I did um, something a little different with the this twine. I wrapped it around here. I'm going to just make sure it's fully dry on my grid paper here and use my linen thread. And let's see, I'm going to put, just start it easier than I did before and wrap this around three times and then secure it. I didn't do this on the other one. I kind of just left it loose and it started slipping off the edges for me. And so that was a little frustrating. So now, instead of a bow on there, I'm gonna tie a knot. Just an overhand knot because for a guy card, you don't usually have bows. I should have probably done it with two, um, but that's okay. Okay, now to keep that in place, I'm gonna add more. And where did my dimensionals go? I brought them. I swear I did. So I'm going to put dimensionals where I put that adhesive because um, I don't want it to stick flat. So I have to cover that um, tape runner up. Here, and you could add some metallic gems if you wanted to. I'm going to try and get that in the center. So I have one more that I'm going to make too. Again. This is get my bone folder out. So I'm anxious to see what some of you, oh, I forgot to draw door prizes. And I think the winner is watching. I think she is, so that'll be fun. Hold on a second, we'll finish this card and show who won the door prize for sharing last week. Let's see, what was it? It was the split. Wasn't that what it was? The split, um, <laughs> gosh, I can't remember what it was now. Somebody remind me what the last challenge was. So very similar, very similar. In fact, almost exactly the same. 
So yeah, I didn't add any doodads. I kept it really nice and simple. So that's the first card tonight. Okay, so door prize drawing for last uh, two weeks, we had um, where you could share your, God, I'm trying to remember what it was called now. Matchbox? Oh, you're right. It was the matchbox, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So the winner was, I think it goes this way, and I don't know if you can see it. Let me pull it up here. It was Carol Koroleski. Are you still on, Carol? So congratulations. This is how I draw my prizes for my team, and I did the same thing. So these are the people that we found um, on my page that did the matchbox card. So yeah, congratulations, Carol. I will send you something in the mail um, as a prize. So usually it's an embellishment. All right, so I have another card I'm gonna do. And okay, I'm gonna turn, I think those are, nope, they are the right way. All right, we have navy and I'm using this time. Yeah, they were upside down. All these flowers. I did some more of the flowers from the pierced bloom dies. And we're using navy as our base. So, <laughs> you know, now I have to get that card out again so I can see. This is one thing. Once you have one card, make a pattern or leave it before you get rid of, um, of it so you don't forget which way they go. As you can see, it's very easy to do. Hmm. I had it all right. I'm going to try. <laughs> See what happens. It's just crazy when you try and do these. The... I just have a feeling. I know they were right. It, it, I had it all right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, that one would go there. This one would go here. Okay, I think I'm on track now. I would go there. All right. See how confusing? I don't know if you, you probably could see exactly where I was supposed to put them, but I sure didn't. Okay. That's the start. So that's what I recommend you do is cut them into halves on the angle and then lay them on your piece. Now we're going to get my paper trimmer out and see if I can do this the correct way. Of course, I didn't give myself any extra. All right. So I know that I need to cut from this tip to that tip. So... <laughs> we'll see how I do. Okay. So we know this one will go here. Oh, that is kind of dark. I wonder if I shouldn't have used, um, well, it'll be okay. Now, for this one, I need to go from here to here. Let's put those corners right in the grooves. Okay, let's see how I did. Now, I do really like the way that after you adhere these, that you can put, um, you can texture it. So I think that's really fun depending on your designer paper, especially if it's a paper that is um, kind of, I guess I'd say not busy. If you have a busy paper, you may not want to add textures, texture to it. See, I'm going to drop down. I can see a little bit of glue there. Okay. Um, but boy, this technique or layout or card idea, they call it a um, pinwheel quilt. I looked it up on Google and I Googled pinwheel quilt pattern and, or eight patch and pinwheel quilt pattern seemed to be um, what they call this when people quilt. I found a bunch of quilts, so I'm calling it the pinwheel quilt Card. But anyway, it uses up your scraps wonderfully. All those little strips that you just don't want to get rid of. And this gives you a reason to use them. And boy, you could get a bunch of cards done quickly. As you can see, you don't have to make them crazy busy like I did on this one. You can make them, you know, fairly, fairly simple like that one. But, you know, those who like to... Who, to zhuzh it up, as some people say, <laughs> um, you can sure do that, or you can keep it really simple. But I also, like I said, I really like the way that you can um, texture these pieces as well. 
So those of you who are watching tonight, hopefully you will join me tomorrow. If you see this and you're watching me live and you aren't following me on Facebook, be sure to click on the three little dots on the top uh, right of your page and then click um, follow and or set your notifications to see all. That's pretty important because um, sometimes they're set to just see some things. The pieces, again, are this piece before I cut it, just say those these two, were two and a quarter by one and a half. Two and a quarter by one and a half. Yeah, I really like it. So I did decide to put it on white because um, I wanted a little brightness because the colors are slightly dull on this one. I wouldn't say dull. Darker, deeper, something. Again, this is, I didn't even say, this is the New Horizon 6x6 six six paper. It looks like I'm using this one and I think maybe this one, one of these. But there's so many colors in here and I decided to use Rich Razzleberry and Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight is retiring, so that will be still there. I think the cardstock is available, the ink pads, the doodads, but the refill is gone. So I'm going to use one of the greetings. I think it's um, You Are Amazing in the In Bloom, which matches or coordinates with the Pierced Bloom dies. I don't know if this is on sale or not. Um, okay, so I'm gonna test this because I haven't used Yep, we're okay. My Misty Moonlight ink for a while. I wasn't sure if it was fully inked. I'm going to give it a little huff to... There we go. Okay. All right, so that is going to go here, and I'm going to pop it up with dimensionals. and we will add the flowers, the die cut flowers around it. A nice thing one that has a point, you can easily tell the center of your greeting tab. Just really pretty. Okay, now to decide which flowers. That seems a little bit big, doesn't it? Maybe I could, oh yeah, I could squeeze it underneath. I kind of like that. And then, do I like that on it? Or I think that one. Yep, I think that's gonna work. And I think I will adhere this flat and add some other flowers raised above it. I think I want it to stick out a little bit out of the, the frame of the card. Stamp sets not available. Oh my, whoops, but are the dies still available? They sure were. Um, just, was it yesterday? Ooh, that's a lot. Was it just yesterday I checked? What do I want to add to some of these? I've got a few options for extras here. That's too big. I'll put that one down here. Hi, Donna. Thanks for the dies are available. Thanks for checking that, Joan. I appreciate that. I'm going to have that peek out a little bit too and just deciding what to add where. I should have my minis, but these barely fit. And I think I'll add, it's just fun to play. Just cut out a bunch of colors that match and start adding some dyes here and there. Yep, I think that one will go here and a little part of a pop-up. Hmm, I'll just get my minis out. Not upside down. Oh, you don't want to stay there, do you? I've got 
a dimensional here and it's on that which is on a dimensional there. So it's kind of double do, double done. Mm, I think that's too dark. We're gonna go with the white one. Okay, one of these, I have to add one more because you always wanna have an odd number, right? So that one, or just a simple little flower, maybe this one, but I'm gonna pop it up. And I am gluey. Thank you, I'm glad that, um, that you like the cards, I appreciate that. You want to have it kind of in a triangle when you're doing that. Okay, we didn't use these, and I did, thought I brought some gems over. Now I don't see them. Hmm. Where they went? Well, I guess we're not going to add gems today. <laughs> I think sometimes, you know, Facebook Live can get, you get a little nervous because it's all live, right? And you can always make mistakes. And then other times you get a little bit complacent and think, yeah, I'm ready. I have everything ready. Well, then you don't. So <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Here are the cards that we did or that I've had done today. I had one more, which is pretty much the same. Okay. So these I'm calling the um, pinwheel quilt cards. And you have through, gosh, um, let me look at my calendar, which date you have through... April 24th to share your version of these cards on my Let's Share post on my Flower Bugs uh, Facebook page. So hopefully you will want to share that, share yours, and then you can be in the drawing for an embe free embellishment that I'll send you. So yeah, these are really good guy cards and sim just simple cards, get it done, uh, make a set for somebody, um, include them in a set that you're gifting, yeah, and an awesome way to use your scraps and your designer paper. So, hey, if anybody has a suggestion, I'm looking for ideas to share on my Facebook on the Stamp With Me. So I'm looking at techniques that don't um, take a lot of product, um, at layouts, uh, ways to use designer paper, but I'm kind of trying to focus on techniques. So simple techniques, I may do um, uh, baby wipe or baby swipe, um, next time. So that's where I'm kind of leaning for in two weeks. But those kind of simple techniques, a little bit more advanced than say masking or something like that. But yeah, if you have some suggestions, I'd love to hear from you so you can help me decide what I'm going to do in the future. All right, so hopefully you'll join me um, tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock central time. And if you need anything, here is my host code. Here is my glue stand tutorial and kit shop. So hopefully I'll see you all on another video very soon. Okay, thanks. Take care and happy stamping. Bye-bye.